Hi, this is Robert Bolaños. Uh, this is a short video. Uh, I was looking through LinkedIn and I saw this uh, application note on Dr. Ridley's uh, LinkedIn. And he made a comparison between the Ridley box and the Bodhi 100. And it's the first measurement. It's a high impedance measurement. And on this uh, posting or application note, uh, he compares the high impedance level, which you can measure. And on this paper, it says that both can measure up to one mega ohm, which is 120 dB ohms, which is uh, shown here in the graph. Actually, uh, the body can go up to 140. Uh, comparably. So I th believe that the Bode 100 has slightly higher range. And then the other thing that he mentions here or that he shows is uh, that the capacitance or the highest capacitance that you can measure with the Bode 100 is 1 picofarad versus 0.1 picofarads with the Ridley box. So I believe this may be an error in the way he used the Bode 100. Uh, and I believe it's an error because these jig, uh, at least in the Bode 100, you can calibrate them. And he says right here, for making this measurement, the Bode 100 requires re uh, re uh, calibration. The Rayleigh box does not, which being able to, to calibrate, that's good. Because then if you can calibrate, you can calibrate any of the parasitics of the box. And if you cannot calibrate, which in this case, he can't calibrate his box, you end up with this little parasitic and you can't measure past that value. So having calibration is good. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show that. He probably did not calibrate uh, the B wick, and this is uh, the purpose of this video. So here I have the Bode 100, and as you can tell, see it's 140. It's above the 120. So 140 is actually 10 meg ohms. Okay. So and if I increase the uh, the bandwidth or decrease the bandwidth make it even smaller then this should go up higher but for sweeping purpose that, that can be done in a timely manner i'll leave it at 30. okay and this is where you see that parasitic capacitance that's associated with the jig so here's the jig okay this is the the b wick b w i c and you can calibrate that and so I'm going to show how to calibrate it and but I also want to do a measurement as well okay because it's not just a matter of uh, measuring the parasitics or calibrating out the parasitics you want to be able to make a good measurement so here I have uh, my device that I'm going to measure these are two uh, half picofarads connected in series so that should total uh, a total of uh, 250 uh, femtofarads or a quarter of a picofarad now to be able to measure accurately down to that level you want to be sure that you can calibrate the parasitics of the printed circuit board because there's fringe capacitance so to do that, I made another PCB and try to match it as close as possible. And this does not have the capacitors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to calibrate it with this first. Be sure that the parasitics are calibrated out. And then I will switch this in and make the measurement. So I'm going to do that. Okay, here I have the jig or the little PCB 
without the resistors. So I insert it. And now I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the Bode 100 to, to compensate or calibrate the parasitics of the jig and this little PCB that I attach. Okay. So you go to calibration, perform new calibration. In this case, it's an open. So I put start. And you want to be sure that you don't have anything or close to the, to the B-Rick because it is sensitive. So now we press measure. And it should be all the way across. Fairly flat. Okay, so this is the way it's supposed to look. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the jig off, this little PCB, and then I'm going to insert this. Okay, so now the capacitors are, are inserted. So now you should be able to take a measurement. And if you notice again, it's it's above the 140. And mind you, you can do an average of this and this noise will get even smaller. But if you notice, it's a nice straight line here. So then you can do a second plot and this plot won't display the capacitance. In this case, I select the CS. You can plot DB, you can plot CS which is a capacitance. Okay, and let me go ahead and make this. Okay, so I put the cursor here at 10 meg ohm, which is where it looks very stable. And if we come over here, it measures 276 femtofarads. And I was expecting 250 femtofarads, which is pretty good, pretty close to what uh, I was expecting. So this proves that uh, you're able to measure very, very uh, accurately, provided that you can calibrate your system. If you cannot calibrate your system, then you you're not be you won't be able to uh, take measurements uh, lower than your parasitics. And that's one of the good features that, that the Bodhi 100 does have and that uh, and, and allows it to um, make more accurate measurements. Thank you for watching.